The best part of Heroes Memorial Park is not one thing. What makes this park special is that it accomplishes many things very well. The park is walkable. It is well designed. It is in a strategic and prominent location. And it celebrates and honors our heroes in a way they deserve. In honor, that's why we're here today. We honor our first responders, our veterans, our brave fallen service members. They're all heroes. A life of service just doesn't happen. It starts with a special person who demonstrates a servant's heart, who loves his family, cares about his community, loves his neighbor, his country, who gives of oneself for the benefit of all. I truly believe that officers, firefighters, dispatchers, EMT, military men and women all demonstrate this quality. They save lives. They keep us safe. They defend us, putting us before their own safety and without expecting gratitude. This feels like a very meaningful time to be dedicating a park, celebrating our veterans and our first responders. Um, you know, we're on the 21st anniversary of the day my generation really lost our innocence and a day that many brave first responders ran into tumbling towers to try and save lives. I want to give you this resolution honoring the city of Kyle and celebrating the dedication of the Heroes Memorial Park. It is an absolute honor to be part of this auspicious occasion. I represent an organization called the AMVETS. Now most of you, even if you came here alone, are members of family. And there's something about family that's special. But this family of AMVETS is uniquely special because in the words of George Washington, you are a band of brothers. When I first got here, we would, I would drive around through the old part of Plum Creek going, where'd they get these street names? And then we started looking at the history. We, we have old files and we started looking at all the history of the fire department and all those street names were the original members back in the 40s and 50s of the fire department. Um, there's one street name in there that really hits me, it's Strawn. In 1944, J.M. Strawn joined the Kyle Fire Department as a volunteer. And in 1952, he died fighting a, a fire. To me, this park means a lot. He's the only line of duty death the Kyle Fire Department's ever had and this symbolizes what we need to see. This is fantastic. Uh, the original thinking was to have a, a, a very personal site uh, where people could reflect and uh, honor the flag. And a big, big flag, big pole was important to me. As it turns out, isn't this fantastic? I have long held the belief that Kyle can be a city that people are proud to call home and proud to come visit. My hope and prayer is for this park to be a cornerstone in Kyle for many years to come. May it serve as a gathering place for thousands of residents and visitors each and every year from this year until long after the time capsule is opened in 2101 at the 100th anniversary of 9-11. Thank you very much.